Good afternoon. Welcome to the weekly weather briefing. It's Monday, Christmas Eve, 2018. This is Greg with the National Weather Service in Spokane, Washington. Here's a quick snapshot of what we're looking at for the temperatures for the next five days or so across the inland northwest. And we're looking at mainly temperatures in the 30s for our lowland areas. This is a departure from what we experienced last week where we had several mild and windy weather systems move through the region keeping our temperatures well above average. These average or these temperatures we're forecasting for this week are much closer to what we would normally anticipate for the last week of December. As far as what we can expect for weather impacts this week, it looks pretty quiet. Uh, the main system that we're going to talk about uh, in the next couple of days will be the one that uh, moves through this uh, region on Wednesday. It looks like we'll have the potential to produce an inch or two of light snow for many of our lowland areas. Uh, these are the spots that we're looking at in North Idaho and the eastern third of Washington. We'll click to the next slide here and we can see that most of our uh, areas in central Washington and north central Washington will be cool enough for snow as well, including the Moses Lake area. Not a lot of uh, accumulation in the deep basin, but we are looking at the potential for up to an inch of snow in places like Moses Lake and Wenatchee. Here's a little more detail with a snowfall forecast map for that system Wednesday and Wednesday night. We're looking for precipitation to develop in central Washington in the lee of the Cascades during the morning hours on Wednesday and spread into eastern Washington and the Idaho Panhandle by the afternoon and the evening. So most of the accumulation shown on this map will likely occur in the afternoon and evening time frame. For the central and southern Idaho Panhandle, most of this precipitation will hold off until Wednesday night into Thursday where we're looking at uh, the potential for two to three inches of accumulation once we get into the higher elevations south of Lewiston, so places like Winchester and down towards uh, Grangeville and Elk City may have a couple of inches of snow down there. And the snow will likely linger into Thursday for these locations where Thursday should be a dry day uh, further up into eastern Washington and north Idaho. Friday should be a quiet day weather-wise, and uh, we're looking for the potential of uh, some uh, storm systems moving in for the weekend, bringing us the potential for some snow and rain. At this point in time, there are a couple of different model solutions uh, with varying degrees of how cold the system will be and how quickly it will move in. Uh, but we are fairly confident that it will bring significant snows to the mountains. It will be enough snow to uh, impact travel over the mountain passes. We have moderate confidence that we'll see accumulating snow in the lowlands of the Idaho Panhandle and northeast Washington. Places like Colville, Sandpoint, and Kellogg will have a decent shot of picking up some lowland snow accumulations. Our confidence is not very good, however, of what the precipitation type will be and how much precipitation will fall in the Spokane area, the Columbia Basin, and along the Palouse. Uh, this, some of the model solutions we're looking at have the system coming in warm enough that it will be snow changing to rain, while uh, a couple of other model solutions suggest that it will be mostly snow. So at this point in time, it doesn't look like uh, we're too confident in how much snow we could potentially get in those areas. And uh, we may also see uh, several hours of windy conditions across the Columbia Basin, the Spokane, and Palouse, depending on the storm track and what time it arrives. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. So stay tuned. Uh, the weekend does look like it could be uh, somewhat active with a, a, a passing storm system. And then the outlook into next week, and this is valid for the first week of uh, 2019. And uh, this outlook from the Climate Prediction Center calls for uh, below average temperatures for uh, Idaho and most of Washington for that first week of 2019. Uh, but it does look like it will be uh, drier than average uh, during this time frame. So 
uh, looks like we may start out cool and dry for 2019. So uh, that concludes our short briefing for today. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to stay on the line and I'll uh, answer them.